YouTube, this is the second part, and today I will be facing off against Triple Storm. Hello YouTube, this is the second flock, and this week's theme of the week, uh, cards of the set of the week, sorry, this week's set of the week is the Prince, uh, set. That came out set 11. Now, what the Princes are, are a whole bunch of clients, there are different ways to run them. Uh, there's an animal type, there's, uh, the Nardo way. Uh, I am gonna do the princes about Nardo, Guard of the Prince, and Michiru. No fact name, because he's not a ninja. What, um, the prince set is, is it came out in the set 11 starter deck that I went over a while ago. Um, it's Nardo, and what he does is he comes in turn zero, and allows you to search for a prince client, unless you already have one in play. So you search out one of these two Michirus that you would have in your deck. By the way, you run three of those Nardo. He's the main card. What Michiru does is at the beginning of your turn, as long as your turn marker is five or higher, you can discard one of your chakras to draw a card. Which sort of means you're going to draw two cards instead of one, which is a pretty good effect. Um, so that's the basis of the deck, but that's not enough for any type of theme. In fact, some people staple two of these and one of these in their decks just for the extra draw power. Um, so this can't be a theme on its own. But then they made some more Prince cards. They made a Prince uh, card Sakura. When she's put in play, she get you get to draw a card if there's another Prince in play. The only problem is that's not... And she gets two support total if a Prince is in play. But that's not as good as this Sakura ADP. This is the Prince Sakura you should run, because in case you don't draw Naruto, Sakura will mill your hand, no, uh, exchange your hand with the top of your deck cards, draw the same amount, you know, and maybe you'll pull Naruto then, and then be able to play him, search for Michiru, and then draw more later on. So it's way better than the Prince uh, Sakura. Then we've got Prince Lee, who, if, who is a 1-drop, 3-0-2-0, becomes a 4-0, if you have a prince in play, he gets plus one plus zero, oh, which is valid. And you get to draw a card if there's a prince in play. I suggest running two if you're going to do any of them at all. Um, then we have from the packs, you can't get this in the starter deck, Kakashi, he's a five drop with a one hand cost, but you don't have to be using a fire or lightning deck to make this work, because princes are usually lightning, hence Naruto. Because, uh... Just with Michiru, Kakashi, Naruto, and some other fire cards alone, you're already up to 8. But the point is, uh, when there's a Prince at play, he turns into a 4-drop with 0 hand cost, and you get to draw a card when he's put in play. The downsides with most of these cards are, even though some, even though some of them get boosts and stuff, like how Naruto's uh, clone status when there's a Prince in play, after they're put in play and they do either their drawing or searching effects, they pretty much have no other thing to go for them but stats, which are mediocre at best. I mean, Kakashi's got okay stats, but it's nothing special. So, and to enhance the theme, there is Naruto, um, and Shadow Clone Platoon from the starter deck. You want to run two or three in your deck if you're making a Prince deck. What he does is any card with the name or Sangon he uses is reduced to one Lightning Chakra. And, uh, to bring your jutsu back after you use them, you use Jiraiya, Instruction of the Hidden Technique, which, if you have Naruto in play, uh, lets you resurrect a jutsu from your discard pile once per turn. Too bad it's not valid. Uh, so Moonlight Rasengan is one of the jutsus for this set. There's Moonlight Rasengan, Rasengan from the starter deck, which you get two of in each of the starter decks. The Shuriken, uh, it's, this is uncommon, this is a starter deck rare. And Blazing Rasengan and Moonlight Rasengan. Let's go for them real quick. Okay. The big combo of this deck is the Rasengan Shuriken. So what you do is you play Rasengan, and you play Shuriken, which can be used in a, from your Chaka or Discard Pile if you want, then it goes to the bottom of the deck. So Rasengan into Shuriken. What this will do is, Shuriken will injure your opponent's ninja, 
Rasengan will kill it and give a damage to another one of your opponent's ninjas. Now, the more sure, uh, Rasengans you can pile on top of this, the better. The better. In addition, uh, it's been said that you should probably run two and one this Rasengan. Two of the starter deck, one of the super from Fateful Reunion. What the Fateful Reunion one does is it's got three hard lightning chakra, but of course, Naruto and Clum makes it one. And it targets every ninja battling against the user and gives a damage to it. So we're saying shuriken, you give a damage, kill someone, and then injure the whole team. I mean, sometimes this is better because after you kill a ninja with uh, this Rasengan, you could hit any other ninja you want. But this Rasengan gives three damage total. Well, I guess, if that's how big your opponent's team is. And pockets this thing murders, because it does like six damage to them. Although they all stay the same injured. Anyway, you want a battle reward if this thing kills any ninja. So, we're saying shuriken, shuriken injures, kill, injure, or injure, or maybe kill if your opponent already had an injure, and you win a battle reward. Now, there's still a lot to be filled with all these cards. Like, what happens if you don't draw the normal Naruto? Since you can't put and play this without this. Well, there's also another card that hinders that, because, you know, Hyuga, you, I pretty much consider a Prince card, but what, because of this one. What you do is, you play, um, Strong Spirit, Hinata, which searches for another Hinata in the deck, then turn three, you gotta keep her healthy, you draw into this Hinata, which lets you draw another card if Nora doesn't play, and then she'll be 4-4. Four, four, four. That'll be her stats, which is pretty good. And then you can run Hinabi, which searches for Hinata, and then Hinata to search for Hinata, and then Growth. Now, also, I some people want to run big Naruto's because of their stats, like the OC ninjas with 3-0 and then 6-0 injured, or Tail Beast form with 6-0, 8-2 injured. Well, that's why uh, the Naruto Uzumaki and Gamma Bunta platoon is here. Not only does he have stats 9-0, 8-0, um, you, there's no downside to him. When he sent out to battle, you can charge the top card of your deck to your Chagra, if that's optional, though. And, um, besides having the name Nardo and Game of Bunta, he's invincible to both ninjas and jutsus that your opponent uses. Which makes him pretty valuable. Now, speaking of invincibility, I'm going to put in Sasuke, Complete Opening of the Eyes, the other starter deck from set 11, the main card. What better Sasuke, besides Cold-Headed, which is a super, uh, is there, because this one you can discard two cards in your hand to negate one of your opponent's jutsu. But let's face it, if you're playing Rasengan and then Shuriken, and your opponent gets rid of Naruto, you're pretty much screwed. So, uh, Sasuke, or Gamma Bunta Naruto, who isn't affected, can negate that jutsu and make it all better. Again, we still haven't been able to find a card to search for Naruto. Well, they've been starting to make a couple tutors for Naruto I've seen over the series. This one, long awaited, long awaited reunion. Lightning fire, turn zero, one hand cost. Now, this is a pretty bad card. I, it, well, it's good and it's bad. It's more of a sideboard card because if your opponent has Naruto in play, you get to search your deck for Sasuke. And then you get to put it in play if you get if you meet the entrance cost. If your opponent has Sasuke, you get to search for Naruto. But if they have both in play, you only get to search for one. Now, the problem with this is, is that it's relying on your opponent to have Sasuke, which is pretty popular. But he won't always have Sasuke in play for you to do that. There is another tutor for Naruto, which I don't own yet. It's called Leaf Squad Organize. You take out the top five cards of your deck and put any Naruto, Choji... Neji, and... The Sasuke Retrieval Squad. You put them in your hand, but you gotta meet the uh, rank requirements, which any Naruto meets nowadays. And finally, Moonlight or Sangon. Gives Naruto plus 7. It's a super. The only super four princes, which is a good thing. Gives Naruto plus 7, plus 0. Oh, and if you win a victory or standing victory, you win two battle rewards. Blazing Rasengan uh, gives Naruto plus 8, plus 0. Oh. If you win a victory or OV, you get to tune one of your opponent's inches. I'm out of time, so this is the second fox signing out.